we had a few uh, comments that the on the project side now when you're going to do the test of the system that the gas input section here is dead you can't access it and that's actually not dead what we did here was um, you have to actually have a pressure measurement in for manifold pressure because there's some calculations that are being done in order for this section to actually appear so if you're looking at the workflow when you're doing the clocking the meter section we need to have an initial gas pressure in so that when you clock the meter we can do a target manifold pressure now it does have a skip function if you don't want to clock the meter for whatever reason you can skip that and hit confirm and then it's going to assume that at three and a half inches of water column it's 90,000 BTUs of input but again that's not clocking the meter if we hit the, the back screen here and we hit clock the meter uh, when you do hit that skip you'll see it says you know it could be detrimental in operation and to the efficiency because we need to have correct input in order for the system to uh, properly work so after you clock the meter it's going to give you a target manifold pressure and then you'd go on through the workflow so the only issue is um, unless you have a manifold pressure input you're not going to have that section available and it has to do with a process that we're using for optimizing the operation